And do you remember this? You've been portrayed as somebody who's kind of this, uh, this sinister agenda, but you're doing step after step that is not in your self-interest and that is clearly designed to protect freedom of speech, which I admire you for that, Elon, and how grateful I am on behalf of my country that you would come here from another country and be the key instrument for, re for, for rescuing American democracy and freedom of speech. So this is getting very interesting. There is speculation now that RFK Jr. may soon have something else to thank Elon Musk for. CNN's David Axelrod posting this, rumor circulating that Elon Musk and others may be throwing into a super PAC for the independent bid of RFK Jr. that will likely, we expect that's going to be announced next week. That's part of his statement there. The Kennedy campaign says that they will be making an historic announcement on Monday. With that, we bring in former White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer, now a Fox News contributor. Ari, always great to have you with us. Thank you very much for being here. Um, what's the significance of this? Well, <laughs> what a wild year we're heading into. I, I think there are going to be so many surprises yeah. in this 2024 election, possibly Robert F. Kennedy Jr. running as an independent for president. Cornell West has already said he's going to run as independent for president. I'm not sure Joe Biden is going to run for president. I'm just bracing, Martha, for a lot of wild new news coming out in 2024. Robert F. Kennedy is an independent. I'm not sure how much he's going to cut into either party's base, Trump or Biden, Democrat or Republican. He's a wild card. What remains to be seen. Yeah. Um, Elon Musk said this uh, in May. Watch this. Oh, OK. Um, let me tell you what he said. He said he said, I wish we could just have a normal human being as president. That's what I want. You just want a good executive. They're a CEO of America. We want a good CEO of America, he says. And this, um, you know, th this whole idea of the power of Elon Musk, how much of an impact do you think he would have on X and other places in order to generate a lot of interest potentially in Kennedy? Because Kennedy says he's going to be the first podcast president. Yeah. Now, he's not going to be the president. <laughs> Let's just stipulate RFK Jr. is not going to get elected president, whether he runs as a Democrat or an independent. He's not going to. Mm -hmm. He'll be like the many historical traditions of people with big names who run and get several percentage points. I don't see it much higher than that for him. Now, Elon Musk, like a lot of wealthy people, can play an interesting role. But our democracy and especially our presidential races are so up to the individual main party candidates, Democrat and Republican. That's where the action is. The bigger question, Martha, to me at least, is what's no labels going to do? If no labels puts up a mm -hmm. serious candidate, that has the potential to really jumble this up more than more than RFK, more than Cornell West. More who would than that be, Ari? That's the that problem. Is. Who who is that person? Yeah, nobody if they knows put up who a serious candidate. Is, yeah. if, I mean, the ones people talk about, of course, are Democratic Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia, the former governor, Republican governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan. Uh, I don't know. Do you see either one of those but, people generating a significant following? No, but the issue here is that Trump and Biden are two historically unpopular leaders of their party. Joe Biden well, has true. massive problems with independents and Republicans, and Trump has huge problems. Mm -hmm. He brings out a lot of Democrats. So that's the gap. That's the opening. That's why 2024 is going to be such a, un, a year of unbelievable uncertainty. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I think anyone who thinks that this is set um, may be yeah. in for a big surprise. I'm not sure what that catalyst is going to be, but I think you're absolutely right uh, that we should all be alert and watching all of these moving pieces to see how it shakes out, because a majority of people don't want Biden or Trump, based on the polling. So we'll see where it goes. All right, always good to have you with us. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.